Hey everybody, yeah, I just want to show you this is the transmission. I already took off the transfer case, which is right there. And so I can start working on this automatic transmission and do a rebuild kit on it. Everything looks pretty good on it. But <laughs> this is when you buy a car from Facebook, this is how somebody fixes the wiring. You, you guys, I just had to show you guys this. So I'm going to fix that correctly. Um, the wiring also has been done the same way. On this one over here, you can see the same connector right there being done the same way. So it's been cut and there's a, a wire tie inside of it. I need to fix that part of the wiring. I'll definitely take care of that. But I just wanted to show the transmission before I take it apart overall. And I'm going to rebuild this 4x4 transmission out of a Nissan Xterra. All right, thank you. So there is a bearing. There's a needle bearing right here on the front of this gear here. So, and it faces inward. So I can see that there's a little race right here that goes flat back inside of that. Then this hub, this one comes out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this unit over here and there's actually a race back here and there's a needle bearing on this side of it as well. I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna kind of set them back together on here. Actually, I'm not going to. I'm going to set this back up like this for now. Go ahead and take out this planetary here. You can see it. This has a needle bearing on here and it has a race on there as well, as you can see. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on the way it was, which is. Here, I'm going to do it this way since this is the first time I took this transmission apart. This makes it easier for me to remember how to put it back together. So I see that there's also a bearing right here as well on the back side of it. And this is the sun here. And that goes right there. And this piece will not come out until I get the tail shaft loosened up to be able to get the rest of these parts out because there's a little tiny snap ring down here that I can't get to that's down inside of this assembly down here. So once I can get the tail shaft off, get the snap ring off on the tail shaft, I'll be able to get the rest of this part and be able to pull everything out. Yep, I just want to show the assembly of this right here. So you can see this goes right here. And then this needle bearing which you can see pretty clearly as a needle bearing goes back on this way here and just so you know I want to put this back on show the inside of this as well and you can see that this is also a needle bearing right here just so you can see what it is just so I'm making a video archive of this just in case for some reason I don't remember it just put it on here just to remember where it goes. I also say the race right here with that needle bearing here. And there's also a needle bearing on the inside of this as well right here. You can see it coming out. Put it back in there too. That's just way so I know how this thing goes back together. Just in case for some reason I forget. <laughs> Let's put this back on there. slowly put this piece back on here just the way it was and then this one goes back on here so I have a good picture of it look inside of here I have a needle bearing that's in here and that one will probably come out right now but there's a snap ring in there I need to remove once I get the back shaft off and I'm gonna loosen that right now so thank you all right so here I removed this clip ring, this snap ring right here, to be able to get this assembly back and pull this back. Just so you can see, there's another needle bearing, which is right here. Perfect, pretty good shape. I don't see any problems with it though. Just so you know, you see how there's the black side here, and then this has got a chrome side on it. So it just goes on that fashion. I see that what I did is I pushed this forward. So it was like this, 
and I pushed it forward just a little bit that's so I can get the slap ring out on the inside which is inside of here so I keep moving my harness here and voila so I can get to the snap ring which is right there there's a snap ring right here and I need to take that out to pull the assembly out so I'll start again and record it again when I get that out so I believe this is called the reverse drum and I'm taking out the part that has the has the actual problem with it right here I can see it this looks like the reverse drum but there you go I'll zoom in on this one babe you can see the bushings worn completely out right there so this is the whole reason why this has been taken apart is because of that particular problem so it looks like this bearing goes back on there just want to keep this in order so take a look at it and you can see that this has a needle bearing right there so this looks like this comes apart Let me stack it up right here so I can get a good view of it put this bearing back on here which goes right there and then take a look at that I have no fucking idea what this is <laughs> this oh this is a bushing which is not worn out put it back in there wow so come on a little bit closer see the bushing is completely tore up that's what the little bits that I found that are inside the reverse or in the what was it that is the back output shaft yeah well she's wearing it pretty good so okay put this back on there for now this goes on here like this and this video tape me putting this back down <laughs> Hang on just a sec. All right, now I'm starting to find out where all those parts are. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. And the way I'm videotaping this is the first part I take out, took out, secondary part I took out, third part I took out. And now I'm going to take out what's called, I believe it's called the reverse drum. I think this thing comes all out as one big giant assembly. So, I should be able to hold this thing like this. Pull, and which it is working. Pull it out very carefully. Alright. Looks like some sprags in there. See some bearings back in here. Okay. It's all looking good back there. And I'll take off. I'll take the drums apart a little bit at a time. See kind of like how what their condition of them is. But there's no way to tell without taking out the clip ring. So I'm just getting it disassembled. So this is the fourth part that's been removed. And as you look back in there. See a little closer. Uh, I don't know if that's the reverse section of it, but those are actually in the case itself. So there's a clip ring right here that I need to take off to be able to get this out. But what I'm looking for is there's an anti-rattle clip somewhere in there. It's supposed to be in there, anyways. And I don't see it. And that's what I'm trying to look for, but okay. Well, all right. Let's pause the video.